Everyone has a unique gift, and Mike, the creator of the One Life Podcast, believes most people don't know how to use their gifts or what they are. Mike wants you to see things from a different perspective and be true to yourself. The One Life Podcast unites the world through art, fashion, music, and film. It inspires, motivates, and creates positive energy, love, and compassion to all communities and creates an equal playing field for all. On the One Life Podcast, they cover topics like building relationships, overcoming adversity, habits of healthy people, and much, much more. We only have one life to live. Be yourself and live your truth. Add the One Life Podcast to your playlist. That's the number one NE Life. Available on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcast, and your favorite podcast platform. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? I'm back, I'm back. What's up, y'all? I am Mike, M-I-C to the read. This is the One Life Podcast, where we talk about positive psychology and taking care of our well-being and telling your story because everybody has an amazing story. Welcome back, you guys. We are in week three of the 21-week mindset challenge. And this week, man, I have one of my favorite, favorite videos. Um, it's the Steve Harvey Jump video. If you have not watched this video, I definitely encourage you to um, check this one out. This one is only like a four-minute video, so it's real quick, real, uh, real short. But um, check it out. Um, let's dive into it. I'm going to tell you something that every successful person has to do, including you. Believe it or not, every successful person in this world has jumped. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You eventually, you are going to have to jump. You cannot just exist in this life. You have got to try to live. If you are waking up thinking that it's got to be more to your life than it is, man, believe that it is. Believe in your heart of hearts that it is. But to get to that life, you're going to have to jump. Now, I'll tell you why I call it jumping. See, God, when he created all of us, gave every last one of us a gift at birth. He never created a soul without endowing them with a gift. You just got to quit looking at gifts as run and jump and sing and dance. It's more than that. It's if you know how to network, if you can connect dots, if you draw, if you teach. Some of y'all fry chicken better than anybody else. Bake pie. Some of you cut hair, color hair. Some people do grass. I got a partner, man, with Never wanted to go out with us because we stayed out too late. Come on, man, go out with now. I got to get up early, mom, cutting Miss Johnson grass. We kept laughing at this dude, cutting grass. How much they pay? He got a landscaping company in Cleveland worth $4 million. Because all he do is cut grass. But he was gifted at it. I got a partner on a detail shop, make $800,000 a year. Detailing cars. He got six mobile trucks running around. $800,000 a year. All he do is detail cars. That's his gift. That's what he loved to do. You've got to identify that gift. Now listen to me. When you see people in life, when you're standing on the cliff of life, and you see people soaring by, and you see people soaring, going to exotic places, you hear about them doing wonderful things, maybe you look up the street and your neighbor just gets a car every year, every two years, you know, how is he doing that? Have you ever thought Maybe this person right here has identified their gift and is living in their gift. Your gift will make room for you. Your gift, not your education. You go get an education, that's nice. But if you don't use your gift, that education only gonna take you so far. I know a lot of people got degrees, man. They ain't even used it. It's your gift. But the only way for you to soar is you got to jump. You got to take that gift that's packed away on your back. You got to jump off that cliff and pull that cord. That gift opens up and provides the soil. If you don't ever use it, you're going to just go to work. And if you're getting up going to work on a job every day that you hate going to, that ain't living, man. You just existed. At one point in time, you ought to see what living's like. But the only way to see what living like, you got to jump. And hit a problem. And just be real with you. When you first jump, let me tell you something. Your parachute will not open right away. 
I'm sorry. I, I wish I could tell you it did, but it don't. When you jump, it's not going to open right away. You're going to hit them rocks. You're going to get some skin tore off on the cliffs. You're going to get all your clothes tore off. You're going to get some cuts on you. You're going to be bleeding pretty bad. But eventually, eventually, the parachute has to open. You got to jump, though. Now, here's another thing. You can play it safe and deal without the cuts and the tags. And you can stand on that cliff of life forever safe. But if you don't jump, I got another promise I can make you. Your parachute will never open. You'll never know. You'll never know what God really has for you. If I were you, I would jump. Because that's the only way to get to that abundant life. You got to jump, man. You got to take a chance. Now, when I get through talking, there are those of you who have discussed this in the car. Well, I got bills. And I got, I got bills. I, whether you stay on the cliff or you jump, you're going to have bills. Well, if I quit my job, I'm going to ruin my credit. If you got a job, you live in check to check. Even if you got A1 credit, you can't buy nothing else no damn way. Do yourself a favor, man. Before you leave this world, before you die, jump. Just jump one time. All right, all right, we back, we back, we back. What up, what up? Man, that... So like I was saying, man, that, that video right there, Jump, um, man, it, it speaks to me on so many different levels um, about life, life itself. You know, um, one thing I love about this video is it, it's real simple. It's do you want to just exist in this world or do you want to live? Like you can't just exist like you have to live, but to live, you have to literally jump. You have to overcome your obstacles. You have to come, overcome your fear. And, you know, one of, one of the things that I know, and, and I've talked about this on the last video, and, and all these videos of this 21-week uh, Mindset Challenge are going to kind of go hand in hand. Um, and that's, again, what, uh, what gets us to evolve and grow in life. So, you know, um, about living in existence, I know the unknown. Like when you jump, it's the unknown. It's like what's going to happen, you know. And the one thing I, I love what Steve Harvey talks about is how, you know, it ain't going to be easy. It's going to be hard as fuck. Like, you're going to get bumps. You're going to get scrapes, you know. Uh, but at some point, at some point, you are sore. And um, that's, that's what this video talks about. Um, it's all about changes. And you can't just, well, I mean, like, I'm not going to say you can't because you can. You can live on the edge, right? You can live on the edge of life and continue to play it safe. But everybody in this world was given a gift. God gave everybody a gift. You know, guys, I don't really like to bring religion into things, but it's the true facts. God gave everybody a gift. And for you to find your gift and to really live your gift, you have to jump. You can't be scared. You can't say, well, I got bills. Or I got, I don't know what's going to happen because I got my mortgage to pay. I got to feed my kids. Like, you literally have to jump and go all in. Um, not saying quit the job. I know a lot of people that always say, well, I want to quit my job. Yeah, I mean, but start off as a side hustle or whatever, you know, make it work. Um, you know, because it's going to be hard. It, owning a business, you got I know everybody want to own a business, but I'm going to tell you something. And <laughs> I'm looking at my boy Ness right now, and like he'll tell you, like go watch his, check out his podcast, uh, friends of the program, like he talks about it all the time. Like it's hard, especially when you have partners. Like you can't like go into something, you know, with these high expectations about you're going to make money. You know, uh, most people don't realize when you go into business, like a real business, like it takes three to five years to make a profit because you put so much time and money into it. You're not going to see that money. Yeah, you might sell your products and sell, you know, your services or whatever and might make, you know, money every week, every month, whatever. But you still got to remember if you put in 100000 200000 like you're still in debt until that's paid off. So, you know, you're going to – it's going to take a while. It's going to take three to five years. So 
you know, um, but going back to the life changes and, and what we have to do, you can sit on the edge, you can, you know, place, play it safe. But when you do that, are you living your true gift? Are you, are you actually working that gift? Are you actually living and walking your true path? I, I, don't, I don't believe you are if you just want to play it safe. And there's not about, nothing, nothing wrong with playing it safe. But if you want to live a, a full, full life to the best of your c- capabilities and to live out your gift, you have to jump. And you have to go through the ups and downs. You know, life is full of ups and downs. You know, and just like we have to embrace all the ups, we have to embrace all the downs as well. You know, that's, that's all about taking care of your well-being. You know, I talk about it all the time. You know, uh, we are going to go through struggles. We are going to go through obstacles. But you can definitely go through, you can definitely struggle well. You don't have to struggle bad. You can struggle well. You know, just knowing that, you know, the good, you have to accept the, the good and the bad. That it's not going to always be sunshine and rainbows like I talked about on last show. So, you know, the older we get, you know, we, we kind of learn these things. You know, we kind of put the bullshit to the side. We kind of, you know, understand, you know, the life life lessons, the hard lessons. We kind of understand that, you know, we, we don't have time for all the bullshit. You know, um, you, are, you are the author. You are the producer. You are the director of your life, the, this book that you are writing. So how is your book going to end? You know, are you going to stay safe and live on the edge or are you going to jump? You know, that's the, the questions you have to ask, you know. Um, at the end of the day, you know, I just try to teach people and tell people, do what makes you happy. You know, don't listen to no one else. Don't live by anybody others, other people's standards. You know, everybody, I understand everybody has their own standards. You know, your friends and family wants to give you all this advice, you know. Uh, but the, the best advice I can give people, and I don't like giving advice, but the best thing I can say is do what makes you happy. Fuck what everybody else says. Fuck everybody else's standards. Again, everybody was born with a gift. Everybody can't do the same thing. Everybody has their own path in life. So you have to walk your own path. So if that's to be, you know, um, a T-shirt designer, if that's to be a car salesman or a barber or, you know, a music producer or a, a rapper, whatever it is, you know, a, uh, athlete, whatever it is, whatever your path is, you have to walk that path without anybody else's input, without anybody else's standards in mind and walk that. You know, if you want to do whatever in life you want to do that makes you happy, stop taking advice from other people and, uh, and looking at other people's standards, you know, some people, you know, they always like, oh, yeah, I don't believe in this. I don't believe in that. Okay, well, cool. That doesn't have to apply to your life and your path. Your path is your path. Their path is their path. So walk your path. Do what makes you happy. That's how you jump. That's how you are going to live an abundant life and live your life to the fullest. All right? Check out this video. Week three, you guys. 21-week mindset challenge. Steve Harry jump. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace, love, and happy. Happiness and blessings. I'm out.